or uh, Eagle's Nest Outfitters uh, Jungle Nest Hammock and do a review on it today. Uh, got some pretty cool features. Uh, we'll, we'll uh, discuss those as we do a setup. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start setting up on a couple trees here. We're at Perry Nature Area, right outside of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It's an uh, arboretum and just a little park. Uh, uh, pretty nice little spot though, so we're going to set it up and we'll show you what's next. Alright, so to start things out, people do it differently. Some people hang their rain fly first, followed by their hammock. I do it depending on the weather. If I know it's going to be sunny, I hang the hammock first, followed by the rain fly so that I can get my hammock pitched and everything right. Um, Eno has the, uh, uh, sets up perfectly with the jungle nest hammock. I'll show you in more detail, but these are the Helios suspension straps. So that's the first thing you do is attach these to a couple of trees anywhere between 15 and about 18 feet apart, uh, give or take. Uh, so we're going to use these two trees here. All right, set up the helio straps, super easy. Just got a loop on one end and this on the other. I usually try to start about five feet or eye level and you literally just take this and string it through. More gracefully than I am doing right now, tighten it up and move to your second tree. So once you have your uh, straps hung, the hammock comes with one end that already has this tab, which is specifically designed for the Helio straps. On the strap itself, there is a little tab. You literally just slip it in like so. And then it attaches one end of the hammock. Uh, the stuff sack is attached to the hammock itself, so it's awesome. Literally just pull her out. Two. Hey Sam, I'll have you come over here. Can you hold this up for me? Yeah. This is right here. Sam, if you want to come in closer. These have a name. Forgive me for not knowing it, but it's like a Chinese finger trap. And I'm not exactly <laughs> to the point where I've mastered it, but they're an awesome little feature. So just stretch it out. You have this tab here to tighten. Attach the other end of the hammock. Step one, done. One of the best features of the jungle nest is it is a very simple design. It comes with a collapsible spreader bar that fits right in your stuff sack. This just has a tab on this side that you open. Put it in, re-snap it, and it gives you some uh, space in there so you don't feel so claustrophobic. Before we set up the rain fly, we're going to uh, get Sam in here, just make sure it hangs well, uh, show you a couple of quick features. This bug net actually does have the ability to completely zip off if you wish. Um, there's dual zippers, so you can use them at any point you want. I like to kind of position them in the middle on the side I'm going to get in on. Over here, there are a couple of cool little, just a little pocket here, which as we all know, comes in really handy. And then up at your head, another kind of media pocket, put your cell phone or headlamp in. First thing I like to do is just open it up like this. Sam, if you want to sit down on here, keep your shoes out. I don't allow shoes in the hammock. Keep your feet on there. Your shoes so they get wet. Sit. Now kick off your shoe. All right, lay down. Sam, you turned around the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> flip around. Can you flip around? Yeah. All right, M. Get him zipped in. He's actually a little lower. If I got in, I might touch the ground, so I'll probably raise it up a little bit. I like to be about a foot or 18 inches off the ground. Yeah. All right, next is to set up the rain fly. Um, again, I'd argue it's probably maybe easier overall to set this up first, um, especially if it's raining. 
but I like to get the just as for the video so we can show you everything. We put the hammock up first so it's not so dark underneath the rain fly. Show you quickly how to start the setup on this. It's pretty simple. It just has a hook, goes around the, tr the tree trunk, and you just tighten it like so around the trunk. Uh, and then you can adjust it from there. All right, so you attach either end of the rain fly. I try to go a fair amount above height above the hammock. Uh, anywhere from a foot to 15 inches probably between the strap and the top of the rain fly just to avoid that spreader bar hitting the tarp. So once that's done you got your options of either just kind of rolling it up if you want to save it for later or you can take the stakes. Emily, grab me a couple stakes over there. And just get yourself set up. It gives you plenty of line. You can tie it to trees. You can tie it to the ground. Uh, it comes with four stakes that are uh, pretty easy to use. Another nice feature on this is it has some loops here and some Velcro that you can use with your trekking poles and set it up like this in what they call porch mode. So you can kind of have one side of your tarp be, uh, have a view to it. All right, so Sam's gonna give us kind of a final tour here. Sam, show how the tarp's set up. Real simple, took all of about two minutes to get that. In. If you want to go around the other end, Sam, there and film in from this direction. I must get in to demonstrate. So it gives you uh, not only a little privacy, but rain protection, and uh, it's just a cool little setup. All right, so we got everything set up here. Uh, Emma's hanging out in the hammock. We'll show you that tour. Um, but I'll give you kind of an all angle shot of how this works. Again, right here, you can put a trekking pole on either side. It'll uh, perch things up a little bit so you can have a view from your hammock, which I usually do, but I didn't bring any trekking poles with. I forgot them in the car, which is well over 100 feet away. So we got a nice little open area, but at the same time, some protection. This is the, I don't remember what fly this is, but I think it was of the $80 version, if that helps out. Uh, probably important to say I'm not sponsored by Eno. Eno. Uh, with 25 subscribers, they really haven't noticed me yet. But uh, this review has, uh, we have no skin in the game on this review, so to speak. So I'm just hanging out, doing the diagonal lay. Do you feel pretty flat that way? Yeah, feels good. So you can use an under quilt with this, obviously, and I have not used that yet. I bought the actual roll-up Thermarest, the one with the silver lining on it. Uh, actually, Sam, why don't you go get that? We'll show, show that off, too. Uh, it's one of the cheapest uh, pads, but it's the easiest to use in a hammock, in my opinion. I'll show you that in just a moment. All right, back to uh, explanation of what I use. This is the three-quarter length therma rest therma rest ridge rest that's a mouthful obviously sam showing it off here with extreme enthusiasm hold up the uh silver side for us there buddy so i think these are literally like 20 bucks is all um works a little bit better than that accordion style one because you just roll that out and once it flattens itself out and then you have the added benefit of this uh kind of heat generating like uh, emergency blanket type silver stuff. That's what they technically call it in the camping world, I believe. Silver stuff. Sam, what's your opinion? How much does that weigh? Not even a pound. Yeah, I think it's about eight it's ounces. Light. 
so I guess just to kind of wrap things up on the whole review, uh, Whitney and I each have one of these. I also have this spreader bar that you can hang two hammocks from two trees and it open, it, it, it's a spreader bar on either side of the hammock. I'll try to kind of point. It goes like right here by where it attaches and across and you can put two hammocks side by side. I've yet to use that um, and uh, not going to set that up today but we'll show you on our, one of our next adventures uh, how that works out. We had to add another note, uh, so we decided to add some entertainment with some nice dance moves. Uh, I forgot to add how much this weighs. All in, it is less than three pounds and packs up uh, far lighter or far smaller than a tent all complete. Um, so a great alternative to a tent, fun time to hang in this thing. All right, folks, again, thanks for t tuning in to Bohemian Adventurers. I uh, hope you liked our very first gear review. Uh, I will add some of the tech specs to some of the video content and text. And uh, I want to throw a quick shout out. You'll see some artwork in this video. Uh, that's all designed by Emma, who you met earlier. She uh, is a legitimate artist. I'm not saying that due to father bias. Uh, we got some really cool logo designs. Hopefully if things get going, we're going to make some t-shirts and some merch and stuff. Uh, we'll probably do that either way, something for just our family. I uh, also want to throw, throw out there uh, the fact that Sam has a creative spark in him as well. Uh, check him out on YouTube at Sam Buckley. Or is it Samuel Buckley? Samuel Buckley. Samuel Buckley on YouTube.com. He's kind of an antics-based uh, YouTuber. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to Bohemian Adventurers. Uh, there's some good stuff on there about homeschooling, uh, doing some gardening and some uh, sustainable living things that my sister Molly and her family does. And uh, most of what we do is adventures and backpacking and things like that. So check us out. Hope you enjoy. Thanks a lot.